day two of the wake for slain police officer Jonathan Diller, hundreds came out to pay their respect. The most prominent was New York's Governor Kathy Hochul, who arrived at the Massapequa funeral home at 1.45 p.m. A spokesperson described the meeting with Diller's family behind closed doors as cordial, polite, and pleasant, where both the governor and the officer's loved ones talked about the need for policy changes. But as the governor was leaving the funeral home, she was confronted by a man outside. The governor and other New York Democratic lawmakers have come under fire following police officer Diller's death because the two men arrested are career criminals. The governor should be focusing on fixing the issue uh, of cashless bail in Albany. The budget was just kicked to next week. She's got a lot of power. She could fix this. Police say Guy Rivera, who fatally shot Officer Diller during a traffic stop in Far Rockaway, has a lengthy rap sheet. His accused accomplice, Lindy Jones, the driver of the vehicle, was already out on bail from a gun charge last year. I don't think you really ever heal. You know, this is a terrible tragedy. You have a uh, a one-year-old that is never going to have a father again because we continue to allow uh, lifelong criminals on the street. PIX11 obtained a copy of a letter from the president of the Sergeant's Benevolent Association saying some city council members who he said have declared war on the police are not welcome at the funeral. Quote, they are as morally responsible for police officer Diller's death as the career criminal who pulled the trigger. They know who they are. And Governor Hochul's Long Island press secretary chose not to talk politics, saying simply, Governor Hochul attended the wake to mourn the loss of Officer Diller, offer her condolences, and hear from his family and loved ones who are dealing with unimaginable grief. And unimaginable it is. Yeah.